telling you and we have been announcing new partners on board and yes today we have new partners that have joined us true friends is one of them who are true friends true friends is basically an online platform that deals in music selling now if you're an artist and you want your music to give you what you always desire that is in, in terms of finances true friends is the place that you want to give your music to because they will end up selling i personally do think that is something great for the region of west nile and also for us the people that support this music let's follow on true friends and we purchase these songs just as little as 1000 ceilings i don't think even that is enough for any of you and by the way i am rocking on spartans blazers who is also one of our sponsors them i started this show with blazers but i ran out not until spartans came to my rescue he is the best blazer and on the best blazer and shoot whatever if you just want to look good and you a man, Spartans Blazers is the one. Will you even doubt that? Uh, does he make uh, blazers for women as well? Uh, he makes blazers. If there are women that love blazers, Spartans Blazers, he will obviously sort you out. And, you know, like I said, I'm looking good and so are you. You're looking good indeed. I'm anyway, good. I'm of course addressed up by Robbie Designs. Uh, uh, she makes us uh, so many things. Uh, if you have maybe a function that is coming up or even if you feel like going for a photo shoot or you just, you know, if you have, you can actually go online and look for beautiful designs and you think, who can make such an outfit for me? All you have to do is look for Robby Designs. Uh, also on Facebook, you can locate her at uh, Robby Designs or Dadanta Robina. She made my beautiful dress. Well, was, course, she, was she also the one that made that photo of yours that sold you? Exactly. No, she well, makes uh, everything. Well, if you well, if you need a swimsuit, if you're going uh, to the beach, well, of course we have no beach here, but in case you, you're not going to Kampala or something, uh, we have a swimming pool here in Aru. Of course, uh, you can go to her for all your you know outfits she makes everything very beautiful outfits no, okay. designs. And, and of course we also have a bamboo village yeah. we have bamboo village that is a sponsoring us it's where we are seated right about now if you are looking for delicious meals and of course they do ready meals you can also place an order and if you want to cook your food at home bamboo village is where you have to be they have all kinds of fresh drinks we have ours right here Mm-hmm. As we always have the drinks. And remember hanging at Bamboo Village, throwing parties at Bamboo Village, doing whatever you want to do at Bamboo Village comes with another advantage and bonus if you choose to get the best photograph photographer for whatever you have. And Powell Photography is that place that you can have for all your photo solutions for each and everything, birthdays, graduations, whatever. Bring them to Bamboo, get Powell Photography on board and get flashlight pictures on board also for the videography services like this one that is running on it is none other than flashlight pictures so brandy has do we have any communication because the last time i checked our pro directors were still trying to link up with free boy of course today we're having free boy on the show but it's going to be a skype show and of course as our director is uh connecting him straight for us here how about we listen to a very beautiful song this song uh, reminds me of the 90s I don't know when you were born, but uh, Sabala is the song. <laughs> it's a very beautiful song of free boy. How about we listen to it? And of course, we shall be back briefly to go live with him.
All right, and of course, Asabala playing right there. It's a very beautiful song. There's no way you will actually listen to this song and fail to shake some bit of body. I, I, I don't even know why you're looking very <laughs> miserable. A very beautiful song has been playing here. No, you see, I'm just, I'm not, a, I don't know how to dance, I'll be honest. But the way you've danced that song, uh, everyone I have to, I knows looking, how to dance. Looking, everyone knows how to dance. At least you can, you know, shake uh -huh. your hands. I am looking miserable for, for, for my own self because, you know, someone. The, the, the person next to you dancing and then you're just there wondering and then you know i just also can't take my off that uh that outfit that you have so don't blame me for looking very beautiful <laughs> outfit indeed don't forget to reach out to robbie designs in case you want to look just the way i am doing otherwise uh welcome back from the short musical uh, break and of course uh, we have free boy already connected live here welcoming him uh, free boy welcome welcome live here and of course uh, without which we are wasting much uh, time let's uh, shoot it who is free boy and why the name free boy uh, Free Boy is a humble, is a humble boy uh, who hails from uh, a beautiful uh, West Nile region uh, in a very beautiful city. Who was actually uh, raised in a very beautiful city, which is a rural city currently. And then uh, Free Boy, uh, the Free Boy name. Uh, I, I gave myself that name because I have a free creative mind. Yeah, uh, mostly when it comes to music. I, I don't write music, but I sing, I freestyle. So I thought that name resonates with, with, with my personality. You know, I always want to ask artists this, this question. Besides music, as in besides the celebrity life that you have, who else is Free Boy outside? Like personally, who is Free Boy? Free Boy is a Netflix person. I do a lot of Netflix. Um, I'm always indoors. I love, I love, I love. I love my own my own peace, yeah, my own space. So most of the times I'm reading novels. If I'm not reading novels, um, I'm watching movies and all that, you know, series and all that kind of stuff. But I do a lot of documentaries because uh, that's that's my line of of, of, of of duty when it comes to music. Yeah. You know, Brenda. Before even we go to the next question, uh, do you do you do you love Netflix? As in. Freebo is basically a person who does that. I, I think uh, anyone who is a fan of movies would uh, fall in love with Netflix. Trust me, not anyone. <laughs> no, <laughs> if uh -huh. anyone is a fan of movies, uh, okay. then they would fall in love with Netflix. But and, I, uh, I actually doubt if my director Mosh is a fan of I don't even know if he knows what Netflix is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we shall talk about that direct uh, uh, attack later. We, we don't want to fight any fight here. Otherwise, uh, uh, the next show would be about how uh, uh, director Mosh and uh, Dagi, the native, uh, thought mm -hmm. about this. Anyway, Kubo <laughs> says um, he reads a lot of novels and uh, he's a Netflix person. I think uh, that's uh, quite interesting uh, for an artist to have a passion. Like, uh, you know, when you talk about reading a novel, mm -hmm. it cuts down to literature and... Uh, basically good english <laughs> i mean uh, reading novels actually improves one's english a lot uh, i know but i i do speak good english that do one, you read yeah, novels I don't, I don't need you to confirm but i don't actually read novels the, i think the i started reading uh, a book not a novel a book i think three months ago and i am yet to finish like the the, the third chapter of it yet every friend of mine keeps telling me but you guy you have you have issues because the book is so good. Anyways, that is that is me and that is that is free boy. We are still connected live. To yeah, him, he so. tells us, of course, uh, just what you had. Otherwise, uh, going uh, straight back to you, free boy. Uh, summarize for us your musical journey right from where you began in Arua and where you are currently. Um, I, I, I used to do miming, of course. Everybody knows back in Arua, I used to be one of the best dancers back in the Mistaken Identity. And then I got to M and ITG, did my first song Sita Badlika, which drove girls crazy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, which, which which was a very big hit. That was my first single, Sita Badlika, and then uh, did a collaboration with Mr. Blue from Tanzania. From there, I, uh, you know, I came to Kampala where I had. Uh, I had to join Baboon Forest Entertainment and I had a couple of songs with GNL Zamba. Uh, and then there I had to get, get, get back home to actually buy the love from my people because I'd already um, got a few, uh, one, two, three skills from the industry, you know, learned the ABCs uh, as far as marketing, branding is concerned. So I had to come back home and try to find myself. Uh, but I was, I was so humble that people actually welcomed me and uh, I was, I was one of the best R&B artists for all that long that I've been in Arua. I had a couple of songs like Leta, Ale Me, Off and On, songs that people danced to, Magic, which was a great one, You and Me. And I think, yeah, you know, you just can't name them. And I realized that uh, there was need for me now to go uh, international, um, national 
you know, take over the, the Ugandan music industry. So I think um, that pushed me to where I am right now, and uh, it got me signed to Viva Entertainment, which is currently working with me and uh, doing, doing great, doing you know tremendous you know uh, stuffs you know and all that. So yeah, um, that's my journey basically. You know that's my journey uh, up to where I am. Quite a sim. You know I, I always love to pick the funny, funny, funny statements. These artists say, Freeboy says he he used to drive girls crazy and even though he said that is a joke i don't think it is a joke with you did he? i don't think it's a joke actually uh -huh. he 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 did he did uh, maybe he? he still does are you please sure? don't ask are if you, he are you just me crazy uh -huh, that is all <laughs> <laughs> because oh you're speaking on behalf of other women i'm speaking on behalf of other women okay, pushing me out there <laughs> that is right, brenda, Lee, uh, brenda Lee and 99 others <laughs> home free boy drives crazy <laughs> please uh, please anyway of course uh, he also mentioned that uh, something like uh, he says um he actually went out there because he wants to take over the Ugandan, you know, music. Mm -hmm. he, he feels like he needs to lead it. It's mm -hmm. a very good thing. Uh, Dagi, I don't know if you, after the Kwate Simu song, uh, actually that period when it was still, you know, on too much fire, uh, Fribo was being hosted, uh, Fribo and Winnie being hosted uh, the national TVs. Uh, and there was some time whereby uh, people actually started, uh, you know, having arguments saying a free boy is not proud of where he comes from. Uh, when he was uh, asked about uh, maybe uh, whether he knows Lugbara and uh, where he comes from, he was, you know, kind of denying. Um, I speak some little bit of Lugbara uh -huh. and other. How about uh, let's uh, get it straight from you, free boy? Uh, are you proud of where you come from? Uh, all the rumors going around at uh, the debate people have been having in a row saying you're not proud of where you come from. Uh, uh, is it true? And uh, I mean, clear it for us. Which tribe you actually come from? Free boy is a ringa, a pure ringa from Yumbe district. <laughs> yes, and free boy is a proud Lugbara. Yeah. It is what it is. I'm a proud Lugbara. It is what it is. Free Boy has said he is a proud Aringa. So for all the social media buzz, for all the social media arguments that we are going, simply because the man could not speak Lugbara live on TV, he has had it there for you. Now, I just want to know one thing before we go for this break. Why did you leave Arua permanently? And then, do you think of coming back? I did not leave Arua. I did not leave Arua. I'm in Arua, I live in Arua, my family is in Arua, I love Arua. I only came here to, you know, uh, sell, sell the brand and, and maybe, you know, try to open doors for, for my fellow brothers and sisters back home. But I'm always in Arua. Uh, my album is actually being released from there. My producer, my official producer is there, Joshman Perfection. So yeah, I'm an Arua boy, and an Arua artist, uh, but currently you can, you can as well add the title to it, a Ugandan artist. Yeah. That is what we have heard from Freeboy so far and we are going to connect to you yet again because we want to give our sponsors and our partners a feel and also we want to talk about your latest song Touch Be Slow after this break. Stay around, stick with us, we are coming back. We still have Freeboy live on Skype from Kampala yet we are here in Arua. That is the beauty of technology. See you in a very few minutes and here is Touch Me Slow from Freeboy.
All right, that song says that touch miss love. Mm. Touch miss love. That song, that song, that song, that not song. Not fast, that not song, hard, but song. very slow. <laughs> just touch miss love. It just says that it's a uh, very, very beautiful song. Actually, the video alone is uh, wow. I must say, Fribo is really doing good. Otherwise, uh, we were coming you back from that uh, break. Do not forget, we are seated right at Bamboo. And of course, uh, for all your fresh drinks, uh, food, uh, parties, and everything, all you have to do is get yourself uh, coming to Bamboo uh, Village. Yeah, and also remember at Bamboo Village, we don't only do those, we also throw parties and accommodation. And Powell Photography is our official photo partner together with Flashlight Pictures, who are also sponsoring us in this. And remember, Robby designs for all the females uh, designs and whatever you want to look good if you want to look good like Brandy it is Robby designs and if you want to look good like me then Spartan Blazers is the place that you need you the numbers of contact for these people are running on your screen and remember true friends for all those Bambi, let's support our West Nile artists by buying their music at only 1,000 ceilings on True Friends because in the end we shall not only be lifting these artists but we shall also be lifting True Friends as they try to bring new things in this region. You can check their website at truefriends.net or on Facebook at True, True Friends Inc. Twitter handle True Friends is where you can always find them. Now connecting back to to free boy even before we talk about the song that has faded now let's 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 talk about quite sim because here in arua and very many platforms out there think that that song actually trended because of winning Waji's involvement in the song and given the fact that you did it as a solo and it didn't kind of like um sell out until winning Waji came in brought in the um, challenges and all that stuff. Do you think it is because of Winnie Nwanji's involvement in that song that Kwate Simu was uh, a hit in the country? Uh, you know, creativity, creativity calls for a lot of things. Uh, Kwate Simu as a song was a very beautiful song, but it called for um, a, a beautiful, uh, a, a beautiful, you know, vibe to it. And I think when in Waji was, was, was one of the best uh, vibes it called for. And uh, just her being part of the whole project was, was actually a blessing. I could say uh, quite a similar uh, as a solo project was really good, but it could not really make that kind of impact that we needed. So bringing um, Swangs Avenue and Win in Waji to be part of the project was such a very beautiful and good move. And uh, it's what actually made this song a very big song. Yeah, behind every successful man is a woman, and I think she did great. 
quite. Yeah, she should. I think uh, actually what he's saying is right behind every successful man there is a woman. But why are women uh, always behind? Why aren't they always in front? And when we talk of behind, <laughs> we mean we, we the women are the ones who are giving you the push to go ahead, you know, be successful and all mm -hmm. that. But otherwise, I love how like he said it. Just monetary spirits. <laughs> Not <our> monetary <laughs> spirits. <laughs> anyway, talking about Winnie Nwaji and Swans Avenue, free boy. Um, um, are you signed under Swans Avenue right about now? And uh, if you are not, why so? And uh, where exactly are you signed? Uh, Swans Avenue is, uh, is, is a partner to Viva Entertainment. I'm signed under Viva Entertainment. But um, Swans Avenue is like my second home right now. Uh, we, we, we're partnering, you know. That's why you see most of my songs are actually also released on their YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's it. So now let's, let's talk about your latest song that faded in, in our break, Touch Me Slow. You worked on that song with uh, Josman Perfection of uh, Arua City. How did you link up with Joss to come up with that song? Joshman has been uh, my official DJ since, no, my, my official producer, I'm sorry, my official producer, but I also have an official DJ uh, who, who is uh, Dranix back home, and you guys know, uh, most of my concerts has been the guy uh, playing my music, but then let's get back to Joshman. Josh has been uh, one of my uh, guys, you know, way back before uh, the brand name Free Boy is already like a national uh, name. Uh, he's the one who has released most of my hit songs from Sabala and right now Touch Me Slow And I think all the songs that are coming through are all gonna be produced by him. So yeah, he's he's been there and uh, he's, he's, he's my in-house uh, official producer okay. Can you tell us what inspired, what inspired you to write that song? Uh, quite a simul is um, uh, You know, I'm a storyteller. That's the first thing so um, Touch Me Slow is uh, just one of those uh, stories that, that, that I usually uh, come up with. And I think, yeah, that's it. Like, like I, I said, I don't write music, I freestyle. But uh, I only freestyle according to what I see in the community, the things that surround me. And uh, Touch Me Slow was inspired by one of those things. It is a continuation of Quarte Simo. But yeah, it's still part of those, uh, it's still one of those stories that I'm trying to sell out to the world. You know, one thing that has amazed me is whenever we always ask artists what inspired you to do your song, mm -hmm. they give us a very huge motivational story behind. But Freeboy just uh, tells he us says, that. He uh, says it's... Uh... He just, doesn't actually write the song. It's no. like a continuation of the Quartet Simu song. And he's it's a just, storyteller. He's a, are you a storyteller? <laughs> a very good one. You don't one. look like that one, please. Why, have you ever checked my blog site? You better do if you want to know if I'm a storyteller. Anyways. I wonder how interesting your stories are. I should check Very it interesting. out. Very If I choose to write the stories that happen with things that happen to me, mm -hmm. most especially in this, uh, in, in this region of West Nile. Dougie, Dougie, there's oh, yeah. a difference between storytelling and story writing. Okay? It is the you same can thing. be good at writing but very bad at telling. Uh, that is why, you know, storytelling, it depends. Mm -hmm. the, Come on, the whole point is it is a story that is yes, being to sent explain out. Himself. Whether, whether you write it or whether you tell it in form of a song is something else. Anyway, Free Boy, as we wind this show, let's, let, let me understand. Is there any artist that you will want to work with in West Nile? And why would you choose that specific artist if you, if you wanted to work with? Why that artist and who is that artist? I would say all West Nile artists, I would really love to work with all of them because I've worked with some of them before. Uh, but all I can say, uh, this is the challenge I could give the artists, all my fellow uh, artists back in the West Nile. Uh, you know, when you want to work with the best, you need to prove that you're good. And uh, if you prove that, I have no reason why I can resist working with you because um, everybody would like to attach themselves to a brand and uh, we all have to benefit in one way or the other as far as followings and all that are concerned. So please, come out, prove that you're good, and we're good to go. All <laughs> right, uh, and of course, uh, he says uh, in order to work with him, you have to prove that you are actually good enough. Do you think um, Frubo has a point there? Do you think uh, he's absolutely. right? Because, uh, uh, I mean, for him to say uh, he's okay, he me I mean, uh, he wants to work with uh, actually all uh, West Nile artists, but uh, that particular artist needs to come out and prove his work, how yeah, good it uh, is to work with him. Uh, absolutely, you see, but the, the point where Freeboy is right now, mm. he's a national hot cake. Indeed. And indeed. for you, as a hot cake, for you to work with such a person, mm. there's going to be a lot. 
first of all, he has a management. Yeah. Now, that management is going to inquire which kind of artist is he going to work with. Mm. And if you look at our West Nile brand, West Nile artists here, mm. you see branding plays a very big role in an yeah, yeah. artist's life. But ask me, how many artists in West Nile do we appreciate their brands? When you talk of branding, you pick right from, he mentioned things of followers and all that stuff. Mm. How much of our artists give themselves time to grow their accounts? We have had artists here who come and we ask them, and it's a very common question that I always want to ask. Mm. What are your social media handles? Always. They don't you have. Find someone only has uh -huh. a has a Facebook um, page. Page, and then uh, you know, uh, there's actually you ask how do you have a YouTube channel? They no. don't have. But then how is how are they going to the background check on this artist? Because I think if everybody wanted to work with an artist, for example, if he wants to work with um. Let me say J.M. Kennedy. Mm. He's going to forward it to his management. Of and course. The management is going to do a background check on J.M. Kennedy. But if they can't get a YouTube channel in J.M. Kennedy's name, if they can't get uh, an organized Facebook mm, They'll page, feel like this person you know, is disorganized. Don't have, so it is, they have to prove. You know, proving you're the yeah. best goes beyond music. It, it, it talks of, when you talk of branding, an artist branding themselves, we don't just mean your songs being good. Or oh, your songs. Or oh, you having a good voice. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's it more than that. Beyond. Actually, I think it it also involves a, a dress code. Personal appearance matters a lot. You know, Brandy, I'll be honest with you. I think uh, mm. branding is uh, something that we need to talk about in this in this in this show. Mm. If our directors allow us some time when we get, yeah. we need to talk about branding because if I'm to rate the branding levels of uh, our artists here, I don't think I'll even give thirty percent. For any artist okay, here, and okay. I'm not afraid to say that because uh, we do check their handles, we do check, we do interact with them. So I don't think there is any artist here that I can give 50% in their branding levels. The, the highest I can give is 40%. And if I'm to give that forty percent for any brand in in West Nile, it, it might it might not even be an artist. <laughs> so I think okay, it's okay, absolutely yeah. right. I think Fripo is actually right. Branding uh, cuts uh, down to so many things. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not just having a very beautiful voice or good song. Uh, personal mm. appearance matters. I mean, there's no way you'll be like, I want to work with Free Boy. And then he directs you to maybe his management, and then they check, uh, as you said, uh, uh, do you have a Twitter handle, uh, uh, maybe a page, Facebook yeah. page, uh, how does it operate? How does it, and then they'll look at your pictures or how you, you know, contact yourself on social media, mm. and uh, your dress code is actually poor. <laughs> uh, your hair is messed up, yeah, but yeah. the voice is good. Trust me, it, it's a total turn off. And, and also to artists out there, it, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I will need uh, a specific Saturday. To talk uh, about dress code. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's all I'll down. need a specific because honestly, you are going to meet up with an artist. They tell you, ah, oh, this is um okay. I, I won't really mention it. Let me say this is Daginated. He's an artist. He's a West Nile artist. And I look, I'm like, ah, guy's hair is messed up. He doesn't look his name. He doesn't look his music. Yeah. Artists out there, make sure you represent what you sing. Look yeah. good. It, it I mean, look down, good. It all look comes good. Down to, it all comes down to branding. <laughs> mm -hmm. and told That's us why I say I'll need a specific <laughs> Saturday just to talk about I'm it. I'm sure the director and the producer have had that. And I also will need that Saturday to talk about about all those things for our artists to grow because man it it is something it's, a, it's a big it, thing it's, it it, it, when he wants to work with any prove yourself prove West yourself Nile. and i think that you actually last week it. last week gs waga told us she wanted to work she wants to work with free boys so he has given her the the mm -hmm. qualities nah, that she needs, exactly so. imagine walking into swans <laughs> avenue in bathing slippers <laughs> Come on, anyway, don't also take our artists too far. I don't I'm think just, artists will work. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just saying, uh, just for just, but that's the truth anyway. Uh, of course, uh, for us, we're always there to call a spade a spade, but not a, not big, a big spoon. spoon. Otherwise, uh, we are slowly but surely winding up with the show. And of course, uh, Free Boy, uh, turning back to you, what is your message for uh, all to the people of Arua back home? Bamarua Gariki, Alemi Bambasana, Awarifosaru, my support. My support LC and uh, yeah, Mongo Matemebe. I really love you guys. I love Arua and I'm a proud Lugbara. Yeah. 
so for people who said man cannot speak uh, the guy the, the guy <laughs> said that when they asked him on was it interview or one of the tv stations uh, and he says that i don't know how to speak Lubara. okay that's what no, people he, said it's I, not him it's yeah, what people said he was probably he was waiting for lulua tv to come on board to, uh, you know, to, get to clear that yeah he drops the line but he has already <laughs> spoken it there anyways so all right and of course uh, for all of you out there who have been doubting uh, who, who have been you know having the debate about free boy are not sure of certain things uh, i think uh, you got all the answers that you needed right from the man himself uh, otherwise i uh, do not forget uh we are sponsored by bamboo village is where we are right about now and of course uh, for all your we talked about artists dress code that takes me back if you are a female artist and you want to look beautiful you have a video shoot or you just want to look good why not check out Robby designs uh, i mean uh, you know and for the gents, uh, why, you know, some of these guys find it hard to wear coats. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I don't know why. But that, that, that uh, is, patterns blazers yeah, that, is, that why is why you that all is why that is new to go and get that. That is why it was so important for us to have patterns blazers exactly to, to come on board because mm -hmm. we are not just doing this to look good. I can look good. I look good. But we are also doing this to tell you people out there, you don't have to spend a lot. These blazers are cheap. Are very they are not affordable. All that, they are affordable at prices that you need spartans blazers come on i don't think there is any artist that will want to shoot a video of quality without donning such a blazer you can check him out on his facebook page at spartans blazers and also you can keep following us on our social media handles lulua tv on facebook and tw and uh, youtube sorry twitter at lulua tv 90 by the way brenda i'm i'm tasking you mm. what is your social what is your twitter please, handle please. <laughs> i'm not going to lie i'm not, I'm not uh, going to lie i don't uh, have a twitter you handle you are the people that we need to embrace this <laughs> idea of uh, how does the whole sh how, can you imagine how oh, does please uh, can we talk about this one like, uh, off of off, off the show I, uh, now we shall postpone it to next weekend i'll come and tell you my twitter handle Okay. For as long as you're going to be doing a show next to me, you have to need a Twitter handle. And like, remember, we told I, I, and also besides mm. that, I think uh, maybe you, uh, who knows more, will have to educate uh, some of us about how to handle. You know, I always. Twitter handle. I, 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 I think uh, I tried doing that once, opening it, but I find it challenging. No, but we have already made the suggestion to our producers that we need to talk about branding. All those things will. And probably. So I'm a victim. I am. No, you're not a victim. I am also just a learner in those things. But hopefully. And mm. by the way, you guys, we want to. I think this will be for the public. If there is anyone who is best to talk, to talk about branding, we will love to know this person and we contact them and we want to you know improve on the branding of West Nile as a region. So, yeah, me on, on, on Twitter, I'm at uh, King underscore Daginated. Okay. So that is, that is, I always love to call that is my own yard of comfort. <laughs> All right, that is very good. You've had it for yourself. And of course, uh, it has been a very wonderful show. Also, if you are having uh, a function and you want some makeup, you know, I'm here. Yeah. I How like do I look? How do I look? Amazing. <laughs> I expect that. Anyway, if you have a function and you're thinking of maybe makeup, you can reach out to me. I do makeup. I do make up as well. Very beautiful show it was. And of course, uh, we are saying uh, thank you so much for always catching up with us every Saturday. That's from 11 a.m. Exactly. Yeah. And, and of course, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very good one. Uh, we are at Bamboo. I keep on saying that uh, we are at Bamboo. I love Bamboo. I love the green at Bamboo. Mm. Bamboo is a very beautiful place. You guys, if you... Uh, if you are new in a row and you're wondering, eh, it's a very hot, you know, sunny Saturday or Sunday. Where can I get cold drinks? Uh, or where can I go and, uh, you know, get some mm. bit of uh, green and fresh air? Just find yourself going to Bamboo. Yeah. And remember, let's always keep supporting our artists. And the best way and the easiest way for us to do that is if we all choose to purchase their songs. And True Friends is here for us in a row city to make it easy. You don't need to spend in dollars or you don't need to go to outside get outside currencies it is mobile money they do have mobile money options they do have visa options just 1000 ceilings you can get an artist song an artist song or if you want a full album from the artist they also do have it check their pages facebook true friends inc on uh, web their website is truefriends.net and let's support our own like the big man always love to say buy Uganda, build Uganda. This time I want to say support West Nile, build buy West it, Nile, build it, use West Nile, 
I don't Everything. use it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so, so much. It has been a great pleasure. And of course, uh, catch up with us every Saturday, as I mentioned, uh, right here on Lulua TV. Uh, and of course, uh, you can also invite uh, all your friends uh, to uh, search us on our Facebook platform. Since it's the easiest uh, to access, uh, we shall be doing it like this every weekend, every uh, Saturday. It has been a great pleasure. And of course, uh, we are saying bye to you. Uh, don't forget to like the page. Invite your friends to like the page. Catch us every weekend for now. Bye-bye.